There are four places where information is exchanged. This emitted and memes are born on the internet in Japan today. Of these four, you think YouTube and Twitter would account for almost all of them. Certainly, it's like the radio of land to sea. However, the ocean is not YouTube and Twitter. The show is Nico Nico Doga and Go Channel. Much of today's Japanese internet culture originated in Go Channel, which continues to span a variety of parts, memes and memes to this day. Go Channel is the birthplace of all things Japanese internet culture, but it's also underground. I mean, it's also Shibuya and it's also a strap. Some say it's literally graffiti, others say it's a place of wizard. It is a horrible place to be. It's built as everything from hacking to natural materials, and it really is. In this article, I would like to briefly introduce the history of Go Channel. The other side of Japan. In a nutshell, Go Channel is one of the largest electronic message boards in Japan. If you are a fan of Japanimation, I'm sure you have heard of something with a similar name in some of their works. They all originated in Go Channel. There are more than 800 message boards on Go Channel divided by jam, and many people interact with each other on the boards. Also, some message boards have their own memes and rules. You might be thinking, only a few people in Japan know about memes born in such places. But that's not true. For example, have you ever seen someone saying kusa or www? In a Twitter or Japanese comment, they both refer to the same meaning, but the SMOS is Go Channel. These have now become very major linguistic expressions found on Japanese television. It's something that everyone expects, perhaps the very young or the very old knows about. To be frank, Go Channel itself is underground, but almost all Japanese people know about Go Channel exists. Go Channel is a place that has such strong roots in Japan, Japan and has such a strong influence. Next, let's take a look at the history of Go Channel. The birth of Go Channel dates back to 9999. Back then, computers were expensive and not as widespread as they are now. In the middle of all this, there was already an electronic message board called Amazon, and while Amazon was dealing with server glitches and vandalism, Ni Channel was born as a shelter. What Ni Channel? Some of you may have thought. Initially, it was called Ni Channel because it was a place that had a secondary function to Amazon. It's only recently that I changed the name to Go Channel. I'll touch on that a little later, but until then, I'll just call it Ni Channel. By the way, the founder is Hiroyuki Nishimura, who now appears in the media as a famous person. His quote, if you can't see a lie as a lie, it's how to use an electronic message board, is a famous quote. Back to the story in channel, grew quickly when its parents' site, Amazon's site, was shut down that year due to server failure, <laughs> vandalism and even a virus. For a while after that, there was a unique character called Mona and some small quarters, but on May 3rd, 2000, a major incident occurred that brought 
2 channel to light. The incident was called the West Japan Railway Bus Jacking Incident, and not only was it committed by a 17 years old boy at the time, but it was also a major incident that caused a great deal of commission in Japan at the time because of the fact that he had posted a crime notice on his channel. I will explain this incident in more detail in another video. But this incident was one of the reasons why Nichanda became known to the public. Since this incident, copycats have appeared frequently and there have been many sets and the Nichanda site seems to have become a lawless zone as its name has been raised. However, there were many unique and interesting events such as the appearance of a character named Kikoneko, a chief called Chimni Channel, competing in a motorcycle race. The popularity of creating videos and games using Adobe Flash, and the later Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama citing the channel as his favorite site. As time passed from the bus jacking incident, the channel's fame went back to the underground that those in the know. In 2004, the biggest event in the history of the channel occurred. On one of the many biting balls of the channel, a person with a handle, Den Shoutoko, started writing. This exchange between Den Shoutoko and other Ni Channel users was compiled on a number of sites, later made into a book and even made into a drama in 2005. It was an explosive hit in Japan at the time and made Ni Channel famous in no way compared to the bus jackings. Simply put, this is the main reason why most people in Japan came to know that Ni Channel exists. Den Shoutoko was a tremendous hit in the history of Japanese drama, dominating all media, including film, manga, and stage adaptations. In the wake of Den Shoutoko, the number of people using Ni Channel exploded that year. There is so much going on from here on out that it's almost too much to write about. And users of Ni Channel have called these events as horrors. Matsuri. It would take an awful lot of time to tell the whole story, so I'd like to pick up some of them and introduce them to you briefly. 18,000 Portable War Part When the Niigata Chuets earthquake struck in 2004, more than 18,000 disposable portable war part were sent to the affected areas by Nichanne users, along with message cards with illustrations of Mona and others. Holding bean sprouts In just one day, Nichanne users have caused a shortage of bean sprouts from supermarkets across the country. The purpose is to make the housewife cry. The receipts were you filed with the proviso as ingredients for the chocolate. Fundraising to establish a school in Afghanistan. The school was built with approximately 9,400 rays on a biting board called Un. I want to build a school in Afghanistan. The school named Fields Bahar Primary School is along with the Nichane character Mona and a program with the Nichane URL, Koil Matsuri. It's a festival that happened on a Japanese site called Yahoo Kids. There was a move on a message board named Let's put a magnimeter in first place and make elementary students cry. To put the magnimeter in first place, settings aside the hugely popular Pokemon, Pikachu. This is an event that shows a few efforts and unity of Nichan new users. I found a really dangerous place. This thread started with my friend went missing in the middle of test your cards and I need you to find him. In fact, Nichan new users who live near the place started searching, 
but some of them disappeared. Some of them couldn't get to it, and some of them couldn't join up. It's an interesting event that lasts over two years and takes a turn in an unexpected direction. Applying for a new British flag. If you are from the UK, you may know this. After the news spoke that, a member of parliament argued that the red flag should be incorporated into the British flag. Many Nichan users posted a design for a new British flag incorporating the red flag in the Daily Telegraph, a major British newspaper. The results have been interesting. There are many more festivals that come to mind in various directions. I'll introduce them and the festival I've just introduced in another video. As I mentioned at the beginning of this article, Nichanne is now renamed Gochanne because there was a bickering between a man named Jim Watkins and Hiroyuki Nishimura, and as a result, he was under Jim Watkins' control. In addition to the transfer of management rights to Jim, the name was changed to Go Channel in order to avoid unnecessary disputes over rights. Let's talk about the recent trends and conditions in Go Channel. Recently, the Nandemo Jukyo Jupiter, or Nanje, for short, has become a popular message board and the term Nanje. The originator of the message board has become extremely popular, both in reality and on the internet. Ngo is one of them. Originally, Nanje frequently used the porno video line, Midsummer Night's Nasty Rave, as slang in this set. And after a video called Midsummer Night's Nasty Dream was posted on Niku Niku Doga, Nanje's user base began to increase. Moreover, when the threat of Nanje was often picked up by a smartphone summary site, Nanje's original wording spread quickly. And now, it has become a word that is used on Twitter, magazines, and even on TV. I'd like to introduce those words in another video. How did you like it? To be honest, I don't have enough time to go over everything on Go Channel, and I don't know every nook and cranny of Go Channel well enough to be able to say it all. So far now, I posted this video as a brief introduction and history for the first time. As I've said many times, I'll pick up on the events terminology and culture in the Go channel and introduce them in another video. If you found this video interesting or would like to see other videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching!